Hey, I get it, I get it. You want to get healthy, but you also don't want to spend a whole lot of money on food, and you also don't want to spend a whole lot of time cooking the food. So what do you do? What do you do in this situation? Well, I totally get where you're coming from. I was working at Amazon a while back, and I was doing like 12-hour shifts and like 60-hour work weeks. So that meant I had like three hours to go to the gym, eat breakfast, shower, and drive to work. So I know where you're coming from when it comes to the whole eating clean and finding time type of thing. But I think like the number one thing that a lot of us get overwhelmed with is just the whole thing of like, how are we gonna prepare the food? Like what seasonings are we gonna get? What, what, what food are we gonna get to begin with? But there's actually a really easy solution to both get your protein in and have time to actually enjoy the food that you're eating. And you can really just like simplify it down where I like to really start with my breakfasts, like what's a breakfast that you like? And then what's a breakfast that you like that you can turn into a high protein meal? Because the best thing you can do is you just orient all the meals that you're getting in a way that they will optimize the amount of protein that you take in. Because the body has a really difficult time converting protein to fat, and protein is also very satiating. And if you're hitting the gym and you're trying to lose weight or if you're trying to build muscle, the best thing you do for that is eating a lot of protein. Bare minimum, you want like one gram of protein per pound of your body weight. So when you're going to the grocery store and stuff, you, you, all you gotta do is you just look at the back of the packet, read the amount of protein that's on there, and then multiply it by the amount of servings. So it's like, huh, 10 grams of protein, four servings, four times 10, that's 40. 40 grams of protein if I eat this whole thing. And then you just, just subtract that from your weight. And then you know, all right, I gotta get da 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 in order uh, to kind of like fill that number there. So like for breakfast, egg whites. Those things are fantastic. There's like no calories because the thing is just like pure liquid protein. And especially if you add like peppers or put some like seasoning and stuff on there. I like to add cheese. Cheese has got some protein in it. Makes it a little bit flavorful as well. You can do some vegetables and the vegetables got like no calories in it anyway. It's just adding flavor and fiber and oh, so good. And then for lunch or for like a snack, you could either do like protein bar. Those things can range from like 16 grams of protein all the way only to like 20 grams. So if you have like a protein bar, it's another 20 grams. An entire egg white carton, that's like 100 grams of protein right there. So you spread that out over four days. You got like 25 grams of protein every morning plus a 20 gram protein bar. And if you have a protein drink, let's say that's 30 grams, you're now looking at like 75 grams of protein. And all you had was breakfast, a snack, and a protein drink. And then assuming you hit the gym and you do another protein drink, let's say it's another 30 grams, that's like 105 grams of protein. So if you weigh like 160, all you got to do now, you get that meat packet, you slap it on some protein tortillas, and now you're abo way above your, your protein goal. You see? It's, it's really not too complicated uh, when you break it down like that, especially a, a trick that I love to do, to do double serving of the protein shake. Yeah, you just put two scoops in there. So like my single protein shake is like 60 grams of protein. You have two of those, that's 120 grams just from drinking a protein drink. Now, Alec, won't you, your, your body can't digest all that protein. It'll just poop it out. Well, better safe than sorry. <laughs> that's it. No, I don't mean to be rude there, but it's like, uh, you know, your, your body's fine. Like if it, if your body really did not digest that protein, you would be having diarrhea throughout your whole day. Like that's what happens if your body doesn't digest something properly, it'll just, you'll just have diarrhea. Except for like corn that just comes out whole. Uh, but anyway, so those are some great tips you can do there. You get your body weight, convert that to grams, and then boom, that's the amount of protein that you eat. One pound is equal to one gram of protein. Plan out your breakfast. I say egg whites, put some cheese and vegetables in there. And if you have an egg white carton, that's like 100 grams of protein spread out over four days, 25 grams of protein in the morning. Protein bar, that's like another 20 grams. Have protein shake, that's another 30 grams. So you're at like, 75 grams right there. Have another protein shake after the gym. Now you're looking at 105 grams of protein. And then boom, you have those Aldi's meats and then you put it on those protein tortillas and now you surpassed your protein goal. So hopefully that was a little bit, uh, you know, kind of helpful for you there. Don't don't think of the, the steps that I said as like the exact formula, like conceptualize like how I came about those numbers and like the, the generalized approach that I took. That way you can mold it and adapt it to how you do your own thing. So 
if you skip breakfast or if you want to have a bigger lunch or you just like to have a big dinner, you can kind of see how I'm approaching the things of breaking down each of the meals based on the amount of protein that I'm trying to hit. So thank you so much for watching. Hope this was very helpful. If it was, hit the subscribe button and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.